Hello, and thank you for taking your time to join this virtual meeting and learn about the reconstruction and resurfacing projects on State Road 527, also known as Orange Avenue in Orange County. In November 2014, FDOT completed a corridor planning study of State Road 527 from Sand Lake Road to Hofner Avenue. The study focused on enhancing multimodal features like pedestrian and bicycle mobility and connectivity to the Sand Lake Road Sunrail Station. The final recommendations of the corridor planning study were used to guide the intent for these reconstruction and resurfacing projects. The Florida Department of Transportation has three ongoing design projects along State Road 527 Orange Avenue. The southernmost project from Sand Lake Road to Prince Street is a roadway resurfacing project with reconstruction of the islands at Sand Lake Road and a variety of pedestrian improvements such as realigning crosswalks, closing sidewalk gaps, reconstructing curb ramps, and upgrading pedestrian signals. The second project is along Orange Avenue at the split one-way pair from Prince Street to Mandalay Road. This project includes resurfacing the roadway and modifying the existing roadway to provide reduced lane widths, buffered bike lanes, enhanced pedestrian features, curb extensions to define on-street parking, and other aesthetic enhancements. The third project is further north along Orange Avenue from Grant Street to Gore Street and involves roadway resurfacing and additional enhancements including curb extensions to define on-street parking, raised medians, and enhanced pedestrian features. This virtual meeting is being held for the two projects from Sand Lake Road to Prince Street and from Prince Street to Mandalay Road. A public hearing for the project between Grant Street and Gore Street was held on November 19, 2019. More information about all three projects can be found on www.cflroads.com. Details on how to access CFL Roads will be included at the conclusion of this presentation. Project A begins at Sand Lake Road, State Road 482, and continues for about 1.2 miles to Prince Street in the Pine Castle neighborhood. The intent of this project is to resurface the existing roadway, as well as a variety of pedestrian improvements, such as realigning crosswalks, closing sidewalk gaps, and reconstructing curb ramps to meet current Americans with Disabilities Act or ADA standards. Also included in the project are related drainage, signage, and pavement marking improvements. Taking a drive along the corridor to view the improvements proposed for this project, we will begin at the south end of the project at Sand Lake Road. The roadway will be resurfaced and the concrete island at the southwest corner of Sand Lake Road will be reconstructed. Drainage ditch improvements will begin adjacent to the construction materials and southeast marine properties and continue northward. The roadway resurfacing and drainage improvements on the western side of Orange Avenue continue north. The proposed improvements also include closing sidewalk gaps and improving curb ramps along the corridor to meet the guidelines and standards of the Americans with Disabilities Act. Finally, the roadway resurfacing continues to the northern project limit at Prince Street, with sidewalk gaps continuing to be filled and curb ramps improved along the corridor. Project B begins at Prince Street in Pinecastle and ends at Mandalay Road in the city of Edgewood. The roadway in the northbound direction is named Hansel Avenue and in the southbound direction is named Orange Avenue. The project length along Orange Avenue is 1.14 miles and along Hansel Avenue is 1.16 miles for a total project length of 2.3 miles. 
State Road 527 currently includes two travel lanes, left turn lanes to some side streets, on-street parking or striped pavement area, and a bike lane for each roadway of the one-way pair. Existing sidewalks are provided along both sides of the corridor. The intent of this project is to resurface the existing roadway to provide seven-foot-wide buffered bike lanes. The on-street parking will be updated with curb extensions and concrete sidewalks will be reconstructed to meet current Americans with Disabilities Act or ADA standards. This project will also improve existing transit stop facilities. Taking a drive along the corridor to view the improvements proposed for this project, we will begin at the south end of the project at Prince Street. The roadway will be resurfaced to provide seven-foot-wide buffered bike lanes. Curb extensions will be constructed to better define on-street parking areas, improve roadway aesthetics, and provide general traffic calming throughout the corridor. Sidewalk and curb ramps along the corridor will be reconstructed to meet the guidelines and standards of the Americans with Disabilities Act, or ADA. The roadway resurfacing and restriping continues north to create wider bike lanes. The proposed improvements also continue curb extensions and sidewalk reconstruction with ADA-compliant curb ramps. The roadway resurfacing and restriping continues to the northern project limit at Mandalay Road to create wider bike lanes. Sidewalk reconstruction with ADA-compliant curb ramps also continues along the northern portion of the corridor. All three projects are currently in the design phase. Following the design phase, the construction of projects A, B, and C is planned to be conducted together. The construction phase is currently scheduled to begin in the fall of 2021. The combined construction cost for all three projects is estimated at $10.8 million. The improvements will be constructed entirely within the existing right-of-way and therefore will not require property acquisition. In order to maintain the flow of vehicle traffic, construction will be performed during off-peak hours. Access to businesses and residences will be maintained at all times and access points will be clearly marked for the traveling public. Advance notice will be given if there is a need for temporary lane closures. Pedestrian and bicycle accommodations will be maintained throughout construction. We welcome your questions and comments, and there are several ways that you can get involved and provide feedback on either of these projects. You can provide a comment in the question window during this virtual public meeting. You can also download a comment form to your computer and send it back to the address shown on the form. Third, you may contact the FDOT project managers directly. For Project A on Orange Avenue from Sand Lake Road to Prince Street, please contact FDOT Project Manager Naziru Isaac by email at naziru.isaac at dot.state.fl.us or by phone at 386-943-5547. For Project B on Orange Avenue and Hansel Avenue from Prince Street to Mandalay Road, please contact FDOT Project Manager Ty Garner by email at ty.garner at dot.state.fl.us or by phone at 386-943-5299. Finally, you may visit the website for each project by going to www.cflroads.com. For Project A, type the project number 441144-1 in the search bar to locate the project page. For Project B, type the project number 435733-1 in the search bar. 
For Project C, search for project number 441145-1. Public participation at this meeting is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Should you wish to express any concerns regarding FDOT compliance with Title VI, please contact either Jennifer Smith, the District 5 Title VI Coordinator, or Jacqueline Paramore, the State Title VI Coordinator, using the contact information shown here. Thank you for attending this virtual public meeting. Please contact us with any questions or comments.